Hey Balancers. I know this is a little bit impromptu, but I just felt given everything that's going on right now, especially if you're someone living in Victoria or New South Wales, we are deep into lockdown. So obviously New South Wales, we've been here for a few weeks now in Victoria. It is your fifth time here. And I know I've been a little bit quiet on socials this week, but I have had this gut feeling to sort of do a quick five minute episode on just my thoughts during the lockdown, because I feel like at these times we feel like our balance deserts us. We feel like it's not attainable and it's something actually we forget about entirely. But I really want to let you know that your balance is always there for you. And I think this is a really important message to share in now more than ever. It's also a really important time. So like often we, you know, focus on our balance when like our work life balance is out of whack. But when things like this happen that are beyond your control, I think it's a really great opportunity to explore our balance in a really raw way. So what do I mean by that? I guess my point and the reason I wanted to do this episode is to remind you that your balance is always there for you. It just might need to shift and look a little bit different now to what it does on a usual day to day out of lockdown basis. And I think that doing this sort of episode now is really important for the whole balance theory because this is exactly what we're all about. It's about surmounting and getting through the ebbs and flows of day to day life, whatever it throws at you. The point being, you can always find your balance. You just have to be open to the fact that it changes and it's going to look a little bit different depending on what life throws at you. So a couple quick things I just wanted to share that you might find is incorporated in what your balance looks like at the moment. You might find that these things are making it difficult for you to feel balanced, but I just want to share them in the hope that it empowers you to feel like you can still find that blue sky, that balance in and amongst all the craziness that's going on right now. So I was having a little bit of a think about some of the things that are really different for me right now. Some of the things that have really shaken my balance that I feel are maybe out of character, but upon further reflection, I can just see that it's just my body's way of conserving my balance or my little piece of balance right now. So for me, this kind of looks like I don't really have the energy to text or call or Zoom people, even if it's my family, even if it's my closest friends that I catch up all the time. I just find myself not like ignoring it, but I'm just not motivated to do them. And I probably won't organize them on my own accord. And I'm sort of like not keen, if that makes sense, which is a little bit strange for me because I'm normally quite a social person. But I read this fantastic quote. I think it was by Donna Ashworth. And it really, really made sense. I'm just going to share a little piece of it with you. It reads, you're not imagining it. Nobody seems to want to talk right now. Messages are brief and replies are late. It's not you. It's everyone. We are spent. We have nothing to say. We are tired of saying I miss you and I can't wait for this to end. So mostly we say nothing, put our heads down and get through each day. Now, I don't want to depress you guys by sharing this, but I I do actually want to use it to empower us to say, okay, it's actually not the worst thing. If we feel that way, if we feel like we want to conserve and and sort of stay to ourselves, because I get it. Like the last thing you're going to do is keep talking about how shit these lockdowns are and how much you miss your family and how much you want life to get back to normal and all those things. So I just want you to know that that is a shared experience right now. And if your balance needs you to be a little bit more conservative, be a little bit more reserved, like that's okay. Even if you're traditionally a really social person. The second thing is if your current routine doesn't really look like a current routine. So I have absolutely felt this. I'm a regimented person in the morning. My routine is sacred to me, but there'll be days I wake up and I just need to sleep more or it's raining and I can't go for a walk, which is my form of predominantly form of exercise. So things like that, I feel like I haven't really had a routine, which normally when we talk about balance, we go on about how you should have like a great morning routine or you should just have a routine, you know, like your daily habits and stuff. It is okay if right now that really isn't within your reach. If you're, you don't really have a routine at all, you've completely abandoned yours. It is fine. That might be what your balance needs right now. Or you might've actually gone the other way. Like maybe usually you don't really have a routine and you're finding now that during lockdown, you've adopted some sort of habit or flow in the morning. So be okay with the fact that that might look a little bit different right now. And the last thing I wanted to say which is sort of in line with your routine, but a little bit different. Like if your daily habits have taken a back seat or if you've adopted new ones. So like I've taken up walking a lot more and I feel like my routine in the morning of like training, showering, having breakfast, like those habits have sort of not really happened in sequence every single day. Like I'm sort of just taking every day as it comes and I need to tell myself and remind myself and I'm using this time to remind you and this platform that that is okay too. 
whether you've you know completely abandoned some daily habits that you had at any time during the day, whether you've adopted new ones, you need to trust that that is what your balance needs right now. And I just really wanted to jump on here and share that because I feel like we can be consumed with a lot of guilt when we abandon these things that are quote traditionally part of our balance. But this is just your reminder that this is a very unprecedented, strange time in life. It is temporary. And your balance needs to adjust accordingly. I think it's unrealistic to think that you're going to flow through and have the same routine and the same habits and have the same mindset and all these things that we generally strive for during this time. It is okay if you're not feeling that way. It is okay if you're not up for the things that you traditionally are. And just know that everyone's going through something different. Everyone's balance is going to look completely different. So don't fall into this trap of you should be doing all these things or you've worked so hard to build up a meditation practice and now it's gone out the door. Like you have to remind yourself that right now you need to conserve and what you need may or may not look different. I mean, you may be going through this period and feel completely like your daily routine is fine and your your habits are up to date and that's awesome too. But if you're one of those people like me who feel like Their balance just requires a little bit of a different thing right now. I'm just here to let you know that that's okay. So that's it for me, guys. I just, I really wanted to share these because I put up a story. I had a lot of you reaching out. And so I just wanted to remind you that during this time, you know, we can talk about balance in times when it's great and we're going on about mindset and business and all these things. But I think it's ever important now to remind you that balance in these strange unprecedented times still has a role to play it's still there for you and you just need to tune in and understand what that looks like for you right now i hope this episode's been useful for you please feel free to reach out if you want to chat i know i just said i don't really have the energy to call or text or zoom but like i honestly don't mind dms i'll get back to you in a moment where i'm in a talkative mood so please don't hold back if you feel like you do want to have a chat or just share your thoughts on this episode And feel free to send it to a loved one or someone you feel like might be struggling with their balance during this time. Sending you all an abundance of love and I'll see you Monday for a new episode.